Uh, yeah, uh Bitch, I've been the man, the man since 89 Came about my mama with goals, I had to grind That was mind over matter, pay niggas, no, never mind Back on my bullshit, Michael Jordan in 45 I got what you need, you need, just get in line One time got caught slipping, got caught up by one time Had my face all in the paper, but tears in my mama eyes We was on the block, boy, no JB, we looked alive Shoot the dice on the F, I lost it, then made it back Bet it up, double that, head crack, head crack Get the cash, get the ass, Steve Nash with the pass Got the drive, no crash, only do beef What's good everybody, it's your boy Uncle Sam's Reject here Back with our Seton Hall Dynasty here on MVP Baseball 07 NCAA we're starting off the season 2-0. You know, we swept our first series. In this episode, we will be taking on a 1-4 Texas A&M team. They're still going to be a lot better than us, so we can't take their record for granted. But we've made some changes, you know, to our lineup. So we're going to go over here and look at our depth chart. You see, we found a new position for Ozzy Zaniga. So you guys see the title. I said, do we have the next Bryce Harper? Ozzy Zaniga is a catcher turned right fielder he actually became the best right fielder on the squad when i just changed his position so kudos to him and we also moved another catcher our boy uh what's his name is it anthony hunter i believe his name is he is actually you know now the best third baseman on the team former catchers because we didn't need four four catchers on the on the squad especially with pimentel is going to be a, a three or four year starter you know what i mean so this is what our new batting order is looking like you know, pretty much everything stays the same, you know, in the top half. Oh, but I didn't decide if I was going to take out uh, Seckel for um, for Hunter. So it looks like against righties, Seckel is going to be the third baseman. And against lefties, you know, Hunter is now going to become our third baseman. I'm a little, I don't, we're going to see how it works out, though, because Seckel does make amazing plays over there in the field. But you know what I mean? It is what it is. But Ozzy Zaniga is now going to be the everyday right fielder. As you see, he's on both lineups, batting uh, batting eighth and ninth. And something the nigga's been working on since the offseason, man. He was trying to make himself non-expendable. Uh, Ozzy Zaniga has gone from being just a left-handed batter to a switch hitter. So now he wanted to make sure he always had a chance to get his way on the field. He worked at a new position. You know, a lot of training, a lot of hours, you know, in the cage and everything. And he is now going to be the everyday right fielder. He has not had an at-bat this year. So let's see if he can, you know maybe improve on what he did last year. You see last year he was a, uh, he bat 264, six ribbies, 12 runs scored. So, you know, looking for some big things out of him. Now the first couple episodes, we're gonna do what we do. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna do the simulation and jump into the game late if possible, if you know, we can, we can help. And you see here the true freshman Hale is getting his first start of his career. He's gonna be taking on a uh, Grand Dezio. Grand, Grand Dezio, what? Dez Grand Dezio, I said it right the first time. Looks like he's their ace, you know what I mean? And uh, here's the lineup, uh, it's the righty lineup. Roy Cummins, right, Foster, Pimentel, Seco, Fatma, Zaniga, and Isaac Johnson. Hopefully we can come out here and get this W or at least have a chance. So you see here, we're gonna get it, Sim, 0-0 ball game. They scored too late. All right, so here we are about to jump into the ninth inning. Hopefully we can get two runs. Maybe I should have jumped in in the ninth, but you know it is what it is. They're actually not even good. They're a D-plus squad. We're a C-minus team. So we, so their record is pretty, <laughs> is pretty, uh, you know, reminiscent of how, how good they are. But right now we're down 2 nothing, and we need to try to find our way back into this ball game. You know, they're still 47th in the nation, and we're 114th. We're trying to work our way up to that to that point, you know what I'm saying? All right, so they bring a pitcher out of the bullpen, and P Pimentel is actually leaning off the knife for us. Let's go. He gets a fastball, get over his head. Come on, baby. So we're a little bit free swinging there, and Seco comes up the bat. You know, probably shouldn't have swung at the first pitch. Good eye, good eye, good eye. We just need base runners. We get some base runners, we can make things happen. It's another fastball. Cause that get down, get down ball, get down balls hanging up there forever. What a play from the right fielder. That was a long run. All right, so now our main man Fontma coming at the bat. We were a little bit late on that last pitch. Had a chance to drop though. Ah, uh, oh that's trouble. That's a double. Wheels Fontma, wheels get down baby. Down. He's so slow. Woo. He's just safe. All right, so we got our first base runner for the main man Ozzy Zaniga. So on the day, Ozzy Zaniga is actually 0 for 3 here in his debut on the season. You know, bat from the left side of the plate against the righty. Let's go. 
off speed pitch. Ah, uh, Wills. He does have 82 speed. Can he get there? That a baby. Wide throw, but I think that's a base knock. Let's see if they gave it to him. They did. That's our eighth hit of the ball game. Now our main man, Isaac Johnson, at the bat. Let's go, baby. Ah, uh, get down, ball. Get down, ball. There we go. Isaac Johnson with a big RBI single. And we cut the lead in half. We're down one, man. Let's go. Let's go. Lineup is going to turn over now. John Roy. What is John Roy on today? He's 0 for 4, so we need a big base knock out of him. Let's go, kid. It's a fast walking over his head. He hit it hard. And that is how this game is going to end. We do end up getting one run, but it was just a little too late. You see here we lose 2-1. Nine hits apiece. No errors. Uh, looks like our bullpen actually got the loss in this game. Our boy, uh, uh, what's his name? Horace Miller came in and lost that game for us. So uh, that's our first loss of the season to uh, Texas A&M. Yeah, it's all good, though. Taking a look at the box score, we did not hit the ball well at all. Rick White, Rick Wright went two for four. Kyle Foster, one for three. One for three for Fotman, one for four for Zuniga. And four for four for Isaac Johnson out of the nine spot with that one RBI. Oh, so actually our true freshman, Hale, was injured. He has an inflamed left shoulder, and he's now day-to-day. -day. All right, so let's go ahead and fix that manually. We got an empty hole in the starting pitching spot. Who has the stamina to become a starting pitcher on this squad? Looks like Jonathan Johnson might be the only person remotely close. Yeah, I guess we'll guess we'll throw him in that starting spot. That that's why we need some pitching to come in here. You know, uh, with uh, Chapel being a senior, Kutzer being a senior, our pitching staff needs extreme help. So first game out of the way. Let's go ahead and gear up for this second one of the episode. All right, so they have a lefty on the mound, and we have our boy Whit Chapel, our best pitcher on the squad for by far. He pitched a complete game shutout, our first game of the season. Here's our lefty lineup. Isaac Johnson leading off with Roy Cummins, Wright, Foster, Pimentel, Hunter, Fatma, and Zaniga ending it off in the nine hole. Let's see if we can bounce back here and get a W. All right, we're up one nothing, 2 nothing. Do I need to jump in? Let's see. Let's see. All right. So top nine. I'm gonna jump in top nine. We're gonna. We got a chance to, you know, extend the lead, get some insurance runs, and then close it out. All right. We got our main man, Alex Hunter, leading us off here in the inning. He's uh one for two on the day. Let's go. I like it. Oh, get under that pitch. You guys know I'm a free swinger. Sometimes I know it pisses you guys off that I don't take a lot of pitches. But that's not how I like to play, because that's how I used to actually bat in real life. And it's kind of boring in a video game as we hit that one back up the box. See what being aggressive can do for you as we get ourselves a one-out single. Ozzy Zuniga back up the bat. He's one for three on the day. So back-to-back uh, -back games with a hit. I like it. Uh, try the way back on that one a, a little bit. That's actually going to drop in. Does he advance the runner all the way to third? He duck. Ooh, I slid the wrong way, but we're safe. Wow, that was a close bang-bang play. Absolutely idiotic way to, to slide, but we actually get our hands in there. Lineup turns over. Isaac Johnson up the bat. Let's get it. Off-speed pitch. Score him. Come on, fellas. Come on, fellas. Score, Ozzy. Score, Ozzy. Oh, wow. I keep forgetting that my base runner is on assisted. Sometimes they don't let me just advance all. So instead of getting an RBI triple, we get a, you know, a double and move the runner over to third. Way the way back on that. Oh, no. I should have been tagging. Get back. Get back. What are y'all doing? I should have been tagging. Wow. So we actually get nothing out of that. Okay. All right. So now <laughs> we get we do, right, so we do get one run, but we definitely should have got one more. As we're going to try to end this game here, Hunter playing third. Nice backhand play down the line, and he gets the first out, baby. Let's go. Damn, man. I definitely thought we definitely should have had an RBI there for, uh, oh, I thought that got some chalk. We definitely should have had an RBI there for um, for Zelly Cummins in, in a three-hole, but that's on me. Boneheaded base running as we get another ground out to Rick Wright. Two dead. Let's go ahead and close out this game, baby. Let's be clutch. Pitching is what got us in a lot of trouble last year. Another ground ball to Hunter. He throws it across a diamond, and we're out of here, and we get you know, we split this series in half, 1-1. One, one. Rubber match coming up, game number three. Our boys are looking pretty solid this season, man. We're playing some tough teams out of conference. So take a look at the box score. Whit Chapel gets his second W of the year, 2-0. Oh. 
Uh, Isaac Johnson goes three for four with two ribbies and a, uh, and a walk. John Roy, two for four with a ribby. Zelly Cummins, one for three. Rick Wright, one for three. Kyle Foster, 0 for three. Uh, Pimentel, 0 for four. Hunter, one for three. Fatma, one for two. And Ozzy Zaniga, two for four. Batting wise, Rick Wright had a double. Zelly Cummins had a double. Ozzy Johnson had a double. Ozzy Johnson had a triple. Ozzy Johnson also had a, a home run. So Isaac Johnson hit for the cycle in this game. Oh, no, he was one hit shy of the cycle at three for four. Damn, he got all the hard stuff out of the way, too. He just needed a single. Uh, RBI for Roy, two RBIs for Isaac Johnson, a sacrifice hit for Fatma. All right, guys, so here it is. Time for the rubber match. We're 3-1 and one on the year. The new week starts. You know what I mean? We're still on the road, 7 o'clock game. Kutzer is on the mound for us. We will be taking on their starter, O'Brien, who only has 48 stamina. So we better be, better be able to get to him early. We have a right-hand lineup coming up. You guys should be aware of what it is right now, what it looks like. Let's go out here and get this W, man. So Kutzer got a no decision in this first game that he pitched. You know, we still ended up winning that game. We're 3-1 and or 2-5. Two two you know, here's the the uh, how we stack up again. We're C-, minus, D+, plus C, D+, plus B. They're uh, D+. Plus. With C plus D, B, D plus. What's up, guys? Welcome to Evergreen Park, man. You see it on the road. We want to come out here and jump on these dudes early and often. You know, we've, we've been tagging our pitches, pitchers pretty much uh, the whole series. Even game one, we had nine hits. You know, this dude doesn't look like anything imp impressive. His slurve is his best pitch. As long as we stay away from that and hit the fastball, we should be fine. Kutzer up at the, up at the mound now on the hill, trying to get a decent outing. Rick Wright makes, I think, an unnecessary diving stop, but he steps on first base for the one doubt. Blah, blah, one, I can't talk. Whatever, you guys get it. All right, so one pitch, one out. You guys already know how we do. We attack the strike zone. That ball's hit behind short. What a play from John Roy. The full extension laying out. I wish this game was a little bit better so I could use stuff like that for the thumbnails, but man, oh man. All right, so... Coming down off that high from the catch from Roy as we get another fly ball out to Zelly Cummins. Three up, three down. We got this in an unscathed. Let's go, boys. I'm hyped up. Are you? Hey, man, Isaac Johnson, who struggles against righties usually, but he's having a great season so far. Good eye there on the slider. I'm getting better at my, at my balls and strikes, though, for sure. Let's go. Fastball, that's the one you want to you wanna, uh, really take advantage of. That's a hot shot on the ground that gets all the way to the wall. That's going to be an easy triple for the 96 speed. Isaac Johnson, we're going for four. Wheels. 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 We get the inside the park home run. What an at-bat for Isaac Johnson, baby. So we get out unscathed once again. Fatma, Zaniga, Johnson do up, baby. Let's go. Come on, Fatma. I need you here, kid. I need you, baby. Boom. Fastball. When we get those fastballs, we really got to take advantage of them. Fatma, remember he had to walk off last episode as he hits that one in the gap. This one is going to be an easy stand-up triple. That a baby. Ooh, we, it was a stand-up triple, but it was closer than I thought it was going to be. Come on, Ozzy. There he is for you right there, baby. Let's go. Boom. Ah, you got to drop. It's a big hole up the middle. Come on now, kid. Hit it where it's pitched. Wait back on that off-speed pitch. We get the RBI. That's why I hate having a base runner on manual because you got to automatically send everybody. Like, he should have automatically been running on that on that ball up the middle. But nonetheless, Ozzy Zaniga gets his RBI. We extend our lead 2-0. Right, there we go. Bottom six. Oh, that's a bad pitch. Ooh, Rick Wright covering his position. Fielding his position, excuse me, as we get the first out of the inning there. Go up top with his fastball. Let's keep changing our eye levels. Come on, Roy, make the play. Strong throw. Get it there, baby. Let's go. That's what I love to see. That's what I love to see, man. Defense, you know, showing out for their pitcher here. That one's hit up the middle. Oh, no. And that's going to get rid of the perfect game. I was keeping quiet about it. And John Roy tries to make one hell of a play. Is that's going to go down for a base knock? Wow. That hurt. I thought for sure we were going to be able to get the uh, perfect game. Like, man, I was we were dealing out here. But, hey, man, better better offense. Now let's throw a ground ball here. Oh, we give up back-to-back -back hits. Should we worry about Kutzer? Good throw from Isaac Johnson. 
Two dead. We gave up a hit with two outs, too. That's what sucks. That one's back up the box. Well, they go on Isaac Johnson. They they choose smarter than that. They choose wisely. And they hold him up. Bases loaded. Bottom six. Hooser hasn't really had any stress this entire game as he throws the ball there. This is his first time in any type of trouble. Still two dead here. One pitch away. You were one pitch away. Just got to keep the ball in the ballpark. Keep the ball down and we should be fine. Ah, missed our spot there. Let's go, baby. Whew. Let's go. Oh, get foul. Wow. That was definitely going to be two runs. Slide piece away. Get him out of here. Make the play, Roy. Fire it across. Get it there. That was a... Woo. I know that was a deep, long throw. But, man, I feel like you could have put a little bit more on it. You set your feet and everything. But we get out of the inning unscathed. We don't give up any runs. Bang, bang, play. All right, come on, Jacob. 286 on the year. We need you. You've been playing pretty well this year. Some pretty big hits. If, if I could just learn how to differentiate balls and strikes on this game, I'd be fine. Playing too much of the show where you had a closer strike zone makes it a little easier. Boom, there it is. That's another extra base hit for Fatma. Can it be another three-bagger? You know we're going for it. You know we're going for it. Oh, he rounds third base. Completely retarded. Down. There we go, baby. Sorry if I offended anyone by saying the word retarded. You got to have those disclaimers nowadays. Zaniga with an RBI. No, he lines out right to the second base. All right, come on, Isaac. 588 on the year. A home run and an RBI here today with the inside the Parker. You know, earlier in the game. Let's go. Another fastball. Out in front of it, actually. We're actually out in front of that. And we don't get anything out of the one-out triple. All right. I need you to finish this game strong for me, Kutzer. Bottom, bottom eight here. That one's hit hard, but it's right as Ellie Cummins. One dead. Keep attacking him, low and out. Low and away. Beautiful pitch with the changeup. John Roy making it look easy as usual. Firing across the diamond. Let's go. All right. This dude's batting 448 on the year. Let's get him out of here. Woo. He turned on that one. There we go. 0-2. Get him out of here. Ah. All right, so they got themselves another base runner. This is probably going to be his last inning. Ah, uh, we missed our spot there. All right, it's so our first time really down, like, behind the hitter here. 2-0. That one's going to get down. Get it in, Zelly. All right, so they get a uh, they pinch, they get a pinch runner in. I need you to get me out of this inning, Kutzer. Just get me out of this inning. That better stay in the ballpark. That one's hit off the walls. and Nika fills it. They're going home, and they tied, They just tied this ball game up. They just tied this ball game up. We got ourselves a ball game here again. He went from having an almost a complete game, you know, to uh, giving up, you know, blowing the lead. Let's go ahead and get a, a pitcher up. Our boy Daniel will get him up, and then we'll go ahead and get Wilson up. Supposedly supposed to be our closer. Top nine. Come on, we need a run. There it is. Get down, ball. Get down. Is that Fatma with another big extra base hit? Oh, I don't know who it is. Or is that Kyle Foster? I believe that's Kyle Foster, actually. Let's see. Yes, that was Kyle Foster with a double. 59 speed. Let's go, baby. A good eye, Pimentel. Let's go. We need a big ribby from you, freshman. We need a big ribby from you, freshman. Come on now. I need you. Wow, and this time that ball was in the glove before we took a swing. Maybe I should have looked to bunt him over. Come on, Seckle. Boom, there it is. He tagged that one. He tagged that one. He's going to stay in the ballpark. We are tagging. Come on, Foster, get there. Easily tagging up, baby, and I love it. Damn, man. If we could have moved him over to third. Two triples here for Fatma, though, coming up to bat. Two for three on the day, 333 on the year. We need a big base knock right here. There it is. Not throw it away. Throw it away. Damn. All right, boys. So that's gonna be it. No, you know what? Let's see if Kuster can get us out. Let's see if Kuster can give us nine innings though, at least. Ground ball to Seco. He fires across the diamond. We got one. Let's go. Can't believe we blew this lead. That pitch was left up. Get there, Zelly. Dad, a baby. Two dead. It's your last hitter of the game. Do not give up a walk-off. <laughs> you give up a walk-off, I'm probably going to break this controller, and I don't even know where to get another PS2 controller from. Sink her away. I need you. This is your pitch. That was early. 
Get there, Ozzy. That a boy. All right, so we got eight nine one do up here, man. Shout out to Daniel out here making you know pitching extremely well as we get the ground ball to, to the right of a little right side of the field. One dead. A lot of people's batting averages are getting hurt here this early in the season. There it is. Good pitch. Woo. Throw him out, Ozzy. All right, so we got a runner. They got a base runner on. They're trying to bunt. They get the bunt down. We'll take the out. We'll take the out. Two dead. All right, we got two dead runner in scoring position for Texas A&M. Come on, Daniel. Good pitch. Woo, he took one hell of a swing on that one. He was trying to end it on that one. Here we go. Slider away. Good pitch. Swing at that one, dog. All right, here we go. One, two, bottom 14, and we get the strikeout. What a pitch, man. Way to end the inning right there. I love it. <clears throat> All right, we got five, six, seven due up here. We need some base runners, and we also need to warm up a pitcher. That's not what I was trying to look at. Keep going to the wrong thing. Let's go ahead and warm up a pitcher. We'll go ahead and warm up our main man, Mac. All right, let's go, kid. There's the fastball. Get down. Get down. There we go. Pimentel. Second base knock of the game, baby. I love it. Finally. All right, so KB Seckles' day is going to be done. He's really struggling. We're going to go ahead and uh, pitch run, pitch hit for him, rather. 69 power, 53 contact. Let's see. Kleppinger, can you play third base? It says you can't. So we're going to go to Hunter, who actually has the better contact. You know, and see what he can do. He's the other third baseman. They split time, but he's going to come in here late, top 15. And he's probably about to hit into a double play. Wow. Seckle could have did that. All right. Daniel's getting tired. It's about what? It's fifth in and out of, the, out of the bullpen as he gives up the base knock up the middle. So A&M gets a base runner here earlier. I'm pretty sure they're going to try to bunt him over. They don't show for bunt. Do we get the double play, Hunter? The first. Fatma taking forever on the turn, but we do get the lead runner. All right, so we got the ground ball we needed. Let's try to see if we can get another one here. Now they're going to try to bunt him over. We got him. We get the lead runner. We are unable to turn two, but we do get the lead runner again, even on the sacrifice attempt. Wasn't a great bunt at all. This is probably going to be Daniel's last batter right here. There we go. Good pitch. Good pitch. Good quality innings out of the bullpen, man. Eating up a lot of innings out of the bullpen right now. Hunter making those second light plays, and we get the out number three, baby. Our, both our third basemen can make plays out here. I love it. All right, two, three, four up the bat. Cummings, right, and Hunter. I mean, in, in the Foster. I don't know where I got Hunter from. Way to way back on that. Get down. Come on, Zelly. Zelly Cummings is on base. Lead off single. Let's go. Come on, Rick. You already got a big double here today. Hit a home run. Put it over the fence. Jeez, oh, man. That ain't over the fence, but you move the runner over to third. That a boy. That a boy. Kyle Foster, do what you do, please, or they're going to walk you. Infield is in. Oh, wow. Nope, they didn't walk me. They gave me a pitch right down Main Street. Probably won't get another fastball again. Yep, we probably won't get another fastball again. Probably won't get another fastball again. Come on, kid. Come on, Foster. I need you. All right, that it. All right. You move the runner over to second. We didn't go home because it didn't get through. Come on, Pimentel. Three for nine. This is 10th at bat, yo. Come on now, stop playing. This is why I hate having base runner on manual because you got to tell everybody when to go. Like, they should have automatically been moving on that, like regular baseball. But we get two runs, man. Come on, Alex. I don't even know what pitch I'm throwing. I don't even know what pitch I'm throwing. Come on, Miller. Keep doing what you do, baby. Good pitch, good pitch, good pitch. All right, we go. Attack him. Ground out to Rick Wright. Get there, baby. All right, one dead. We were up two runs earlier in the game, and you know we let them we let them tie back up, and that's what got us to here. But I'd be damned if these dudes score this inning right here, man. 
Let's go. Attack him. Attack the strike zone. We get the fly ball. We get the fly ball. Boom. Let's go. Miller's going to get this win, too. I'm not even going to bring in the closer. I'm going to just let Miller win this one. He's getting better as time goes on. He's now up to 86. I mean, 89 on the gun. He still came in at like 85, worked up to 87. Now he's at 89. He's ready to get out of here. We jam him, get in this kitchen. Fly ball to shallow right. Fatma makes the play. And we finally get the win. Thank you, yo. Thank you. A lot of dudes batting averages struggle. I mean, suffer here from this game. 17 hits on our part. 11 for them. An error apiece. 4-2. Let's take a look at the box score. John Roy. 0 for 10. Zully Cummins, 2 for 10. Rick Wright, 2 for 9. Foster, 2 for 9. Pimentel, though, 400 on the day, 4 for 10. 0 for 5 for Seco, 1 for 4 for Hunter. 3 for 10 for Fatma, 2 for 9 for uh, for Ozzy Zaniga, and 1 for 9 with Isaac John for Isaac Johnson. A double for Rick Wright, Pimentel, and Foster. Trip, two triples for Fatma. A home run for Isaac Johnson is second on the year. Pimentel with a two RBIs. Isaac with one. Zaniga with one, an error by Isaac Johnson, two players caught stealing. You know, looking at their at their uh, part, you know, side of the box score, same thing. So in total, they were 11 for 83, and we were 17 for 85. Wow, that many at bats in the game. Going down to the pitching here, we only had three pitchers, nine innings from Kuzer, so we had a complete game from our starter. Eight innings from a reliever and another seven innings from a reliever. But Hunter came in for seven innings, no hits, no runs, you know, no walks, no strikeouts. Like, look at this. So he he threw a no-hitter in seven innings. We had a complete game going into six with Kutzer. And as far as them, they had three pitchers as well. This is why this dude hurt his arm. He just threw 12 and two-thirds innings. He's probably done for a while. O'Brien threw eight. And Silbach threw, you know, 3.3 and a third as they got that loss. And, yo, <laughs> Hurt Miller, or Horace Miller, excuse me, he's one for one of the year. So, he lost our other game when our other starter went down. 24 innings, 24 inning marathon of Thriller, two-run lead. We move on to what? What's that? 4-1 on the year? So, Hale has recovered from his injury. We'll go ahead and put him, you know, back active. And then we'll go ahead and put him back in the... Uh, Oh, no, we don't want you active, niece. We'll put Hale back active. Boom, get up out of there. Pitch and rotation. No, that's batting order. Pitch and rotation. Move Johnson out of there for Hale. Let's get it going. I'm telling you, I'm thinking about moving Miller to the pitcher, to the, to the rotation. The dude, the dude was kind of nice, man. But, uh, yeah, 4-1 on the year, man. You know, when we check in next, you know, of course, we're going to simulate through some of these games and everything like that. We'll probably pick back up in this Miami or Baylor series. But uh, great start to the season. The boys are looking good. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode, man. If you did, stop and smash that like button. Hit me up in the comment section below. Subscribe if you're new. It's your boy, Uncle Sam's Reject, RKGames.com. I'm out of here. Peace.